Hi everybody. And here we go. So this will be the it, adding the all of the ribs, including a couple of nose ribs and that webbing that we had previously riveted onto the front spar of the horizontal stabilizer. My only regret is I, I really wish I did have a vise that I could uh, swivel and mount this horizontally, in, uh, or I should say vertically instead of horizontally. I mean, this, this, this vise is fine, and it rotates, and it's got an anvil on base on top, and that's great. Uh, but it makes putting these ribs on a giant pain in the butt. All I can say is thank goodness I'm slim. I'm slim-ish. And fit in between the ribs to be able to reach over and use the squeezer which you'll see or maybe not it's kinda hard to see because damn it stop pointing the damn camera into the sun So, with all the ribs clicked up, time to start riveting. That's pretty straightforward. Again, these are nice internal pieces. Uh, there is some uh, flush uh, riveting in the center where the horizontal stabilizer will meet the fuselage, of course, but uh, most of the ribs outside of those two in the middle aren't really that uh, difficult. Everything's just big dome head rivets that you squeeze in. The Langeron yoke makes quick work of all of them. And now I guess it's Chardonnay time. Right, so now that all of that, uh, all, now all the ribs are attached to the front spar, before I can do anything else, uh, I have to have the cradle ready. And I've been putting this off. Like I said, I like working with wood and I like working with metal. But wood shavings and metal shavings uh, combine a giant pain in the butt. I prefer to keep the two separate. So the wood from the cradle came from the empennage case itself. Crate, I should say crate. Yes, apparently I like to stare off longingly. Well, there's always well, there's always airplanes going around, so it's hard not to. Yeah, and so this is where I leave uh, for such a long period of time and left the camera running that I've cut uh, a giant chunk of that out. I should be mm, there. I am. I had to go home and get some uh, three-quarter inch drywall screws, a box of drywall screws I keep, so I can fasten the uprights to the base support. And then I just made a couple uh, of uh, little squares, I guess you say square brackets, angle brackets.
So you make four of these, uh, two for each side of the horizontal stabilizer. Um, since then, I've gone and actually put a side support through each, uh, through two pieces on each side, so that each side's cradle is just one piece now. And there's Judy, my friend, uh, club member and club officer. She's there to help, so we're just going to keep this going and see you in the next video.